U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper is in South Korea as part of a five-nation trip to the Asia-Pacific region. And he met this morning with his South Korean counterpart, Chung kyung Du. Kim ji reports. Visiting U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper reaffirmed that the South Korea-U.S. alliance is ironclad and serves as a linchpin of peace and security both on the Korean Peninsula and in Northeast Asia. He said that the two countries share the same vision of a peaceful Korean peninsula as well as a free, open Indo-Pacific region. Asper added Washington is willing to engage diplomatically with Pyongyang to make progress on all the commitments made in the Singapore joint statement to achieve the denuclearization of North Korea. But he added that United Nations sanctions will be strictly enforced until North Korea participates with U.S. allies in achieving the complete, verifiable, irreversible path of denuclearization. Asper also wanted to acknowledge the progress made towards the conditions-based transition of the wartime operational control of the Combined Forces Command from a U.S. commander to a South Korean commander. He said this shows the strength and trust between the allies that no adversaries can match. The two countries kicked off a preliminary session on Monday in the run-up to their summertime command post combined exercise meant to test South Korea's initial operational capability for the envision OPCON transfer. Meanwhile, Chong said Asper's visit is meaningful regarding the security situation South Korea currently faces, citing the entry of Chinese and Russian aircrafts into Korea's air defense identification zone, as well as a Russian aircraft trespassing into South Korean airspace. Chong also said that the series of firings of short-range ballistic missiles by North Korea are not helping easing military tensions on the peninsula and added Tokyo's economic retaliatory measures are hurting the three-way security alliance of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan. Kim Tian, Arirang News.